This week we were talking about praising the Lord and what that means. We have found that the praise of the Lord starts by us taking the time to praise Him in a sanctuary. We also talked about how it's also in our life when we recognize what He has created for us, but it's to focus upon the Creator. I cannot tell you how many times people have come to me and said, well, why was this tornado, and what about this hurricane, and how about this natural disaster, and why would God do this, and why would God do that, and why would God, and why would God, and why would God? And we want to blame Him many, many times, and yet there's also things that we take for granted so much that we don't even recognize Him in this. We don't even give Him the credit for the things that He has done. A perfect example of this is a sunrise. When the sunrise comes up, do we say, thank you God that you gave us this day? When the sun is setting and it's beautiful, do we say, you know what, thank you God for painting that for me? It's recognizing Him in all these things that we get a chance to see His actual greatness. And He is great. And He is so great that He deserves the praise that we have, which is why we need to be in church each week, which is why we need to recognize Him when the sun set or the sun rises, which is why we need to give Him the credit He deserves for the greatness that He is and to rest in Him because He is great and He does deserve our praise. Would you find time today to praise Him in all that you do because of all that He has done for you? Because He is great and He does deserve that praise.